Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an exam Q&A, more specifically a trial Q&A because I know that trials is coming up for you guys. So I wanted to like do a Q&A. So as usual, I put up a post on my Instagram story and I asked you guys to ask questions and I actually got a lot of responses guys. It, I don't know if I can go through everything, but like I'll just try. Next question that I got is how to study bio, and I think there's a few like this. A few people asked me how to study bio. So when it comes to biology, unfortunately, there is no shortcut. You just have to read. Biology is one of those subjects that um, one of the few subjects that don't need maths at all. So is just studying so there will be facts everywhere and you have to memorize all those facts and blurt out again in the exams so what you have to do is to memorize what you have to memorize and what you can do to make it easier is to use um, acronyms mnemonics and to do active learning so you can use a lot of study tools like flashcards you can use mind maps whatever works for you. I think you can play around with like flashcards, mind maps, and table forms, and various note-taking methods just to see which one works for you. Like for me, I would actually alternate in between all those study methods because I get bored quite easily. So if I'm bored with a study method, I won't feel like studying anymore. So I got to recognize that like, okay, I'm so done with mind maps. I don't want to do it anymore. So I'll move on to doing flashcards. So I think essentially I'm okay with all the study methods but I just alternate in between them so that I do not get bored. And the answer to how to study bio is to simply memorize it. And also doing past years help a lot. I think I'll film a video on how to maximize the usage of past year questions. If I have time, I'll do that. So the next question is how you study for a uni exam. So how do I study for a uni exam? I actually just finished filming a video of me planning out my study session, but it turned out to be more of a panicking and complaining video. But I don't know if that video will be up before or after this video. We'll see. Um, so that was how I plan my study session. But how I study essentially, I think I'll be making more videos about it as well because I have two weeks of study week ahead of me and there's a lot of studying to be done and maybe I'll be filming on one of those days so yeah I think I'll do that and how I study for uni is actually how I study for biology because in uni now as a medical student all we study is biology and everything needs memorizing I've said it so many times but yeah it's just a lot of memorizing how to excel chemistry exam just read or practice Okay, so chemistry is much different from biology. Chemistry, you need practice and you need past year questions. You need exercises as well. So I would read through chemistry um, notes and then I'll move on to the exercise, which is a very huge part of my revision, I feel, because chemistry is about understanding and applying. So there'll be certain formulas and there are only few formulas in chemistry, but it is easy to understand and they are usually tested. So I would understand those formula and then do a lot of activity books to evaluate my understanding and try to apply those formulas to it as well. So it's slightly different from biology. I don't spend as much time studying chemistry, but I really like chemistry because it involved a bit of maths and you don't need to do that much memorizing. So yeah, so in, oh my God, I just, knock my phone against my table. Um, anyways, um, just read or practice. Read and practice would be the answer. It's, it is just around 20 days before trials and I haven't started studying yet. So how do I start? And okay, so what you have to do is what I did in my previous video that I just filmed, but I don't know when it will be up. But basically what you have to do is to calculate the amount of topics for each chapter. So you have to at least have an idea of how you're going to finish covering everything in time without cramming. 
So what you have to do is to list out all the topics for each subject and like I did it here. So these are the top uh, the lectures for each of my subjects. So I have a lot of these and I essentially study using this. But you would have to have like a list of all the um, topics for each of the subjects that you take that you think you would actually need to study. So for me, I would of course add in um, physics, chemistry, and maths. Um, not and maths. Physics, chemistry, biology, and sejarah. If you are a science stream student, so take these four core subjects, and then um, add up the amount of topics that you have. And since you say it's twenty days, so take whatever amount of topic that you have divided by twenty. So um, it's good to also cut down the workload on Saturday and Sunday or days when you have tuition because you know that you won't get as much work done then. So just plan according to your schedule, make it flexible. For me, I would not say um, plan out what subject I would do on that day. I would not plan out what topic. I would just know that, okay, I have to do two topics today. So I'll wake up and decide I'll do these two topics today. So that's how it works for me. So you have to know how it works for you and just do it accordingly. Next question that I got is how to identify the key points for each subject. It is difficult to identify the key points for each subject, but I think a good place to start would be with your past year questions. Um, I do not do I do not study any one chapter or subject without past year questions. So past year questions are so, so important. No matter which year they are from, whether it's old or it's new, it's very important. Because, because they sort of give you an idea of which questions can be tested for essay. And those are the things that you have to memorize, right? So I would say to identify the key points for each subject, especially those subjects that require essay writing, would be to make good use of your past year books. So make sure that do, you do have your past years and you have to start doing them now. Like if your trials is a month away, then now is a pretty good time to start doing trials. If you're in Form 4, it is a pretty good time to do trials as well. But you can just get the analysis per topic book where it is asked by um, chapter. So yeah, use past years to identify key points for each subject. And the next question that I got is, how long did it take for you to finish one biology chapter? So it's one per day. Um, of course, I still go to school on that day. And then sometimes I have tuition at night as well. But um, out of all those at minus all those time, I use one day to cover one biology chapter where I do like detailed notes and stuff. And it's really ironic how I can spend that much time on one chapter. But now I have to rush through and finish like five chap five lectures in a day. And a lecture is actually longer than a chapter. But anyways, that's my problem. You don't have to deal with that. And then next question is, Please make a video about the pathways after SPM, like metrics, STPM, foundation details. Yes, I think I'll do that someday soon in the future once I finish my finals. My finals is in two weeks. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, next question is, how many hours do you study in a day? With a crying emoji. So, as I said, how many hours do I study really depends on the workload that I have for that particular day. Um, and I don't know how you want to count it as well because I did go to tuition as well. So does that consider a study or... But if you mean the type of studying that I do on my own at my desk, I would say only around three hours per day. Yeah, it will be around three hours because I get back from school. I'll do a little bit of work. If I have tuition, I have to leave for tuition. And I come back, it would be around plus minus three hours per day. But like I said, my goal my end goal would not be to achieve like three hours per day. My end goal would be to finish up a chapter. So that is just the way that I work. And my Instagram is at Victoria Actual for those of you who wish to participate in my future Q&As. 
please remember to give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.